Hello, welcome to UK Automate. In this session, we are going to learn about EPM, uh, how to install EPM and how to install WebDriver agent. Because uh, to automate any of the test case, this EPM tool is required and even the WebDriver agent setup is also required. So let's begin with that. First thing we'll uh, look into is the EPM install, how to install EPM library and we'll install other libraries as well. So how I'm going to install APM is using a node package uh, manager. This already we have installed in the previous session. So I'm just using the NPM package here. So first I will do is uh, copy the first command that is sudo uh, NPM uninstall. That means I'm going to uninstall the APM if any already existing. Just copy that command, execute here, enter your password and uh, there is nothing here right so i'm just trying to make sure that if somebody has a previous uh, versions of a apm and if you want to start from fresh then this command otherwise you can directly go for the next command that is for installing the apm and here you need to mention g that means it is a global i means it is installed so i'm copying the second command here so it is going to install the APM. Uh, it will take some time. Here I mentioned the APM version also. What is the APM version? 2.11.0. This is the little stable version I'm looking for so that I'm mentioning the exact version here. So if you see here, it got installed and it is saying that uh, some of the 70 package got installed. Uh, what is the next command? Uh, we need to install the XUI test driver. So I'll copy the second command here to install the XUI test. So it is saying that uh, APM driver install XUI test is already installed. So this is about XUI test. Now I will go and install the XUI test driver library. So again, I'll copy this command. And it is installing the XUI test driver. Okay, uh, it got installed. That is done. Now, uh, to verify whether library is got installed or not, we have a command apm driver list because to run the apm test we require a driver so we want to verify that whether drivers are installed properly or not right so it is saying that uh, xua test driver got installed and it is showing the version also then we are good now uh, what else we need to check that we need to check apm hyphen v that means what is the version of apm we have installed right it is just a small command we can execute that is APM hyphen V, it is showing 2.11. Uh, so now we are good on APM installation and uh, XUI test setup. So moving on. Now uh, we need to install this Xcode because to set up the WebDriver agent, we require Xcode. What you need to do here is copy the URL uh, which is given here. I will provide this URL details in the description. Uh, go to your browser. You will go to download section and if you're already having a apple account you will directly go to download section otherwise you need to need to enter your apple credentials and go to this section here what you can do here is uh, you can install the latest xcode version so for example latest xcode is uh, stable version is xcode 16.3 just click on it right uh, and download it and install it right it is a huge file so that it will take some time to install and do a setup right once you install and uh, you need to just open the xcode and it will ask uh, the ios versions it will prompt for ios pro versions like this so select the latest version so right now i'm having the ios version as 18.0 so i'm going to install here but when you are installing with the 16.3 you will get a 18.4 right so install the latest version of the ios and the xcode and while installing it will look like this now xcode setup is done so after installing the xcode we need to execute one of the command what is that command here is uh, provide this command in the description this is a command what it is saying that uh, it is switching it is saying that this is the xcode which you have installed and it is setting the path of the xcode where it got installed so our xcode is installed in the applications uh, and this is the path of that right make sure that xcode.app is available in this application folder and it will ask for a password that's it done now after doing that uh, now we need to do a web driver agent setup 
web driver agent why we require web driver agent is to connect to applications to launch uh, the applications in the browser in the simulator in the device so, so we required web driver agent through web driver agent only the apm will be able to communicate to the applications right while installing the apm web driver also will uh, come with that so uh, where uh, this web driver agent is installed to know that take this particular command and uh, go to your terminal so web driver agent is installed in this particular path what i will do uh, copy this uh, path and in the terminal here enter open and this path right it will show you where this web driver agent is installed and it will directly go to that folder so what you do just right click on this web driver agent xcode project just to make a note of this particular file right click and uh, open with xcode go to xcode go to settings and here in the account section you need to add your apple account now coming back to this web driver agent uh, here it is showing list of targets here web driver agent lib and web driver agent runner and everything so what you do is select on this uh, web driver agent lib uh, click on signing and capabilities and here bundle identifier we need to update what is that bundle identifier is it is showing that now com dot you can automate dot web driver agent lib but initially when you load it for the first time it will be like this com dot facebook dot web driver agent lib so here you can update this uh, com dot whatever the project name application name whatever you have uh, you can put it here and in the team section you can select the account which you have added the apple account right and do the same thing for all of the targets whatever it is showing here if you click on this web driver agent runner here also you need to do the same thing just copy this uh, com dot you can automate or your project name and put it here the remaining part can be the same right and you do the same thing for all the target here make sure that you have selected web driver agent lib here and the simulator name will show here whatever the simulator which you have created and uh, click on this play button so that uh, it will build the entire web driver agent lib for this particular simulator cool it got built and it is showing that build succeeded right this message you should get it now after that i will select the web driver agent runner and again i'll do the same thing build this also got succeeded now i'll select the uh, integration app and i'll build this run once you build the integration app it will show integration app is installed in your simulator so this is about how to install the APM and how to set up the web driver agent and how to install the Xcode. So give a try, uh, try all these things and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.